Hello everyone, welcome to another video as I go through the Lego inventory. Now the good thing is that these videos will be a lot easier for me to do moving forward because I'm starting to go through the clear bins. So I'm trying to get them all organized so that way I can start to do videos kind of by theme to complete my inventory. Because like I said, it's taking quite a long time. Today I'm going to look at the Winter Village sets. I only have three sets with the most recent one being a whole lot of them and we'll just look at some of the pictures later so that way I can complete the inventory. All right, so the Winter Village theme has been out for, oh goodness, it's been out for quite some time. I don't know exactly how long, but these are sets that come out on an annual basis and a different theme each year. So this theme right here was put out, I don't know, five or six years ago. And actually I could probably see, oh uh, no, yeah, on the seal. Okay, so this particular set at least was made in 2018. So this is the fire, the village fire station. And this is set 10263. And I actually have, I believe, two of these. And these sets I purchased, I don't know, maybe six months ago. And if you look into the winter village themes, or if you're familiar with them, you know that these actually do pretty well in retirement. I would say that this, this theme actually seems to be pretty consistent, at least in my mind and what I'm seeing online after several years. So for example, some of the earlier sets, say from 10 years ago, some of them, you know, they could have been had for 70 or $80 and now they're selling for over three. So I'm assuming that these in time will, you know, gain the same amount or similar, but we'll see who knows. Anyways, this winter village fire station, this set has a lot of detail. I actually put this one together with a friend. We build Legos every Christmas around Christmas time, but just looking at some of the detail, you have the fire truck here, the tree, the actual fire station, and then you have something going on in this ice bin over here and I want to say I can't see it where it is here maybe it's on the back but it has a working light okay here we go so right here is a working light you push down on a button and then the light will illuminate okay and then here is the people hanging out in the fire here are the people hanging out in the fire station okay guy going down the pole there's your dog, axes, fire truck, and then to take a closer look here, okay? Somebody attempting to feed the dog. Somebody down there looking through the Christmas gifts. Again, great level of detail. That's why people love Lego. Okay, there you go. Here we have, okay. Fire truck with the ladder that actually moves there. And then here we go here. Look, I guess it's actually somebody that's playing hockey, ice hockey. Or just moving around a puck. And there you go there. So again, this set has been retired now for I want to say two or three years that it's been retired. And these can be had. At this time, you're looking to pay probably $175 because again, they've been out for some time. Okay. All right. Moving on to the next one that I had in, in I'm going in order of this age of retirement or age retired. So moving on to this one, this is the gingerbread house set one zero two six seven. And this set retired at the end of 2021. Okay. And I actually was able to find this set. I went through Target, and this was the last one that I was able to find. And it's an interesting set. Again, I put one of, actually built one of these on a different occasion, and pretty easy to build. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over. I would say it wasn't really a favorite of mine putting it together, but it really looks nice when you look at a completed Winter Village with all of the sets. With all of the sets. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in here. 
So we have some gingerbread people, obviously in the gingerbread house, along with the gingerbread baby there. Okay, there we have some people near the fireplace. Somebody cooking. All right. Here you go, gingerbread man in the tub. All right, so as usual, pretty good detail. Here we have a, sorry, we have a working fireplace. So press down in the button on the chimney and it illuminates the fireplace there. Okay. And then coming down here, you have the actual view of the house, second story, the bath and shower. And then down here you have the people of doing their thing okay so this is the gingerbread house all right all right so then moving on to the next one this is the elf clubhouse this set is currently out right now uh, for sale one hundred dollars and this set came out I guess it was released in 2021. I don't see seals on here. I'm thinking if it was released in 2021, it made it through the year. Yes, it's on its second year. So this set is going to be retiring at the end of 2022. And again, what, what I notice is that I'd say a year after retirement, these sets go up about $45, 45 to $50. And then of course it takes several other years for it to appreciate from there. Now, I will say that these towards Christmas time of the second year, they're hard to come by. So for example, the gingerbread house, which retired end of 2021, you could have gotten it, but in December, you could have gotten it obviously the whole year or two years that it was out, but then around December time, it literally was flying off the shelf. And of course, you know, these are the type of sets that you wanna look at when you go shopping at your Target, to see or online to see if they ever go on sale. Some people, I know for some of these other sets like the gingerbread, some of the stores were trying to get rid of them. So they had deep discounts on them and people were able to get pretty decent deals. All right, so for the Elf Club House, it's part of the Winter Village collection. And this was actually an interesting build, very fun in the look of it. Very fun in the look of it. And you can see you have the elf and reindeer, Elf here, a North and South Pole signs, Christmas tree there. And then on the inside view, let's take a look at that. Here we have our, what do we have here? Okay, it looks like we have, uh, interesting, some type of a setup where it looks like if something is turned, I don't know, people can come, people can come off of the beds because they're just laying there. I'll have to do more research on this to see what this piece is there. All right, and then moving on, you see the elf working. Looks like they're making waffles, I guess. And then down here, I will say the good thing about these inventory videos is that I've never really looked this closely at some of the sets. So it's nice to take that closer look at them there. All right, so this is set, Elf Clubhouse, set 10275. And I know that I have quite a few of these, so I'm gonna go ahead and unbox them and then just show a picture at the end so that way we can get an inventory of the Elf Clubhouses. All right, so here as I start the unboxing, I have quite a few of these, uh, mostly the Elf Clubhouses, obviously. So as I said before, where is it? I have one of the fire stations, the other one's down there. So two fire stations, the Elf Club, or the uh, Gingerbread House. And then I was, as I was going through, I found the Santa's Visit. And this one I purchased, but this one actually came out in, I guess this one actually came out in 2021 around Christmas time, but it'll be out for another year. So this one I'm just gonna be holding on to. But that's the collection then four deep. So I have a total for the Elf Clubhouses. So get some light here. I have a total of one, I have two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then I know I purchased some here. These were from Amazon. And actually, I liked buying them. The problem is they were at retail. So some of them I've tried to get on sale um, through either like Macari or eBay because they can be had at least earlier in the year for about 80 bucks. So, but these were at retail, but what I like about them is that they have this insulated box. So pretty much I'll just be storing them and then when it's time to sell them, it'll be just a easy, put a label on them. So this is one, two, three, four, okay? And then I also have this crate here that I purchased and these are actually in pretty good condition and I got them in a bulk sale. Again, can't even remember, I have to find the receipts. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have ten here. Four in the box is fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. So it looks like I have a total of twenty-five of clubhouses. And yeah, that completes the winter village as much as I have at this time. So we will see. Like I said, if I can find more Elf Clubhouses on sale, I will go ahead and scoop them up. Maybe around Black Friday if they have sales on them. If not, then I'm good with the 25 that I have. And like I said, they'll be retiring soon, so I expect really to see a nice, I don't know, 30 to 50% bump in value within the next year. So, all right, just wanted to provide that quick update. And this is Dr. Diffins officially now signing off. Bye-bye. <music> Okay, and hopefully this is really the last update. Uh, inventory's actually been pretty good this process because I went through a bin, just opened the lid, one, two, three, four, five more. So that actually brings the total count up to 30. 30 elf houses. So yeah, so I'm going to add it to the inventory list and then we'll keep on going. <laughs>